The Sumatra Earthquake of 2004 by Noah Benton The Sumatra Earthquake of 2004 took everyone affected by surprise. The many islands on the Indian Ocean had not experienced a significant earthquake in many years. As a result of this, the people living on the islands thought there was never going to be another earthquake. On the 26th of December in 2004, this all changed. There was a massive earthquake off the coast of Sumatra that measured 9.2 on the Richter scale. The destruction was something that had never been seen before. This was the largest earthquake in 40 years, and the earthquake ruptured the greatest fall length of any recorded earthquake in history, about 900 miles. This means that 900 miles of the Indian Plate slid underneath the Burma Plate. The devastating earthquake also produced a huge tsunami that wiped out the coastlines of many of the Indonesian islands. The tsunami hit 11 countries, and there were about 230,000 to 280,000 casualties. Tsunami means harbor wave in Japanese, which is a little ironic because tsunamis are way bigger than harbor waves. Tsunamis form when an earthquake pushes up the seafloor and displaces large amounts of water. The water that is displaced in this process then forms a very fast-moving but not very tall wave that moves at about 500 miles per hour. The waves are about 500 miles long, and once this wave reaches shore, the front starts to slow down, and the back of the wave catches up. Scientists have determined that this tsunami reached up to 80 feet tall at the coast. This easily carried boats and other coastal structures inland. Scientists have also found that in some inland areas, such as Ase, the wave reached up to 100 feet tall. The tsunami extended as far as 2 kilometers inland. According to the Tsunami Society, the energy released by the tsunami was the same as 5 megatons of TNT, or more than twice the explosive energy used in all of World War II, including the two atomic bombs. This earthquake and tsunami had a huge impact on the countries affected and made everyone highly aware of what nature can do.